Number 46, hydrogen molecules of molecular mass equal to 2.016 gram per mole have an average velocity or root mean square velocity equal to 193 meters per second. What is the temperature? So basically what we need is we need an equation, okay? That relates the velocity or root mean square velocity and I guess the mass also, okay? Uh, of a particular molecule of hydrogen to the temperature. So um, do we know a formula? Sure we do, right? We have this, that the root mean square velocity will be equal to square root of three K T all over then M. Now, if you're wondering where this formula came from, please check out in the description below. I'm going to provide a link to a general video on kinetic theory of gases that I had made, and it explains everything in there. I think you'll find it useful. So here's the formula, all right? Right off the bat, they're asking us for temperature. Notice that this formula relates vo uh, velocity to temperature, okay? Right off the bat, they're asking for temperature, so therefore I'm gonna solve this thing for temperature. So simply square the left-hand side, square the right-hand side. We will now have V sub RMS squared being equal to three times the Boltzmann constant times the temperature all divided by M. We get a solve for T, bring what's in the numerator on the right down into the denominator on the left, what's in the denominator on the right up into the numerator on the left. Put your little division sign there, get rid of the line over here, all right? And then simply just move the uh, T over and look, here's the formula. We do know the velocity they gave it to us. Fortunately, it is in, it is in the right unit, so that's fine, that works. K is just the Boltzmann constant that's memorized. Did they tell us the mass of a molecule? No, right? They gave us the mass per mole here. So I gotta do a conversion. And remember, mass has to be in kilograms, okay? So we gotta take now the 2.016 times 10, well, what times 10 to what? Times 10 to nothing. So <laughs> this is gonna be gram per one mole, all right? And what I need to do then is get rid of gram, kilogram on the top, 1,000 grams for every one kilogram, see you later gram. And then I'm flying through this because we've done this so many times now. Molecules on the bottom, one mole for every 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. On the other problems, check out some other problems that I've done prior because I went a little slower through this. Um, but at this point, and that's actually the whole point of practicing, right? I mean, what you should be doing, you should be doing actually all the problems. I don't care if they assign half or a quarter of the problems in the book. If you want an A, you do all the problems. And what you'll notice happening is you're like, oh my God, this again? Oh God, I know how to do this. This is so simple. And you just start flying through it. That's when you become good at this. All right, so 3.3, 3.35 times 10 raised to the minus 27th. And that is going to be then now kilogram per molecule. And that's what we needed, right? All right. Now I have all the pieces to my puzzle. So just let's plug it all in. So the mass here is what we found. We have it in kilograms, 3.35 times 10 to the negative 27th, multiplied by then that velocity squared. So that's 193. That value is going to be squared right from the problem there up, the, up at the top. And then 3 multiplied now by the Boltzmann constant of 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. And all we have to simply do this will be equal to the temperature. Just throw it on into the calculator. So I'm gonna take that exact mass, multiply it by 193 squared, and then simply now divide it by three times 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23rd. And we get a value now, a uh, very small temperature of it's going to be about 3.01. So 3.01 Kelvin, all right? And that's equal to the temperature. So even with a pretty high you know, relatively high velocity here. I mean, depends on what you're talking about. For a gas, that's a really, really low velocity, but compared to a moving car, that's, uh, you would, I should put it this way, you wouldn't want to get hit by that car, okay? Um, so anyway, uh, guys, thanks for tuning in. All right, please remember to help us out and subscribe and tell your friends. We appreciate it very much and we'll speak to you soon. Take care.